Hi guys, Rover Dude here. And uh, I know you saw the pictures at the beginning of this video. And uh, they're pretty drastic pictures of an accident victim. And this apparently was a drunk driver that smashed into this vehicle from behind. I'm going to pass by it again just so you can see it one more time. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I'm gonna try to get as near as I can. And uh, everybody knows that the holiday weekend is up and coming. And uh, this is a good example of what can happen when people drink and drive. And that's such a great advertisement. Um, let me put you guys back in here a sec. Sorry about that. All right. But anyway, um, yeah, and, and I've noticed that they do this in Citrus County and various other uh, key locations and intersections. You'll see crash um, vehicles like this where well, they've placed them strategically again, as I mentioned. And it kind of points out to people, you know, hey, be careful. You know, drinking and driving being drunk you're gonna kill somebody or yourself so this is something I've never seen before it's uh, uh, I, I I'm not criticizing it I'm, I, I'm actually con, con, you know condoning it or commending it it uh, it's such a good idea to do this because uh, folks get carried away with their parties and stuff and and then uh, you know if you don't have a designated driver you're gonna you don't know the damage you can cause. You know, you ruin your life and among the lives of other people. But, yeah, I I really do like that. I, I've never seen that before done anywhere. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd show this to you guys real quick so you can check it out. Um, so, basically, uh, we're uh, here in Citrus County. This is our new uh, living area. So I'm going to be taking some more videos on different little things that are going on around and about the area. Um, again, I have not forgotten about the Freelander. I am working on it. I'm going to upload a video on uh, the battery for this Land Rover. I made some modifications to it. And I put a bigger battery in, but I had to kind of rewire the negative side and the positive wires too um, but I'll show you a video on how I did that and it, it gives you guys a pointer I could not find a battery uh, of the size that I wanted with the post on the right side so they're kind of opposite to where they should be so that's why I had to extend the wires a little bit and do a little bit of modifications to the uh, the actual fuse box and where the wires come up from the starter it's very simple it's nothing out of this world but it's just a little pointer in case you want to upgrade to a bigger battery this one has more cold cranking amps and uh, should should give the car a little bit more juice where needed all right so again I will be putting more stuff up shortly as soon as I get to edit some of the video that I did